kind of cool to have your face printed on the um, on the cup of coffee. I, I I wish they could do that on devices, on on radios as well, on smartphones. Oh well, you probably have just to take your picture for that. But okay, so I'm at the Hightower booth. And this year, and of course I've been here last time at the Communications World, at PMR Expo many years back, but there is a specific reason for me being here at the booth. Not because Hytera asked me just to create a video, but there is something else. The company, as you know, is often coming out with a lot of new devices. But this year is a special year because we are going to talk only about new devices. So no upgrades. Totally new devices, new features, new functions. Good, with that, I'm looking for Chris, and you know Chris from other interviews that I did. She's working for Hightower for a long, long time. She's always at these kind of shows, presenting the latest solutions of Hightower. Good, it's a little bit quieter now. That means that we have a little bit more space to work. Um, let's go to Chris, and let's take my coffee with me. It's good to be back at Hytera. Now you didn't tell me that new things were coming up. So what, what has been launched? Because I'm here for new stuff, right? Indeed, indeed. Well, we have a lot of new stuff at the moment, but maybe we should focus on some things rather than a lot of things. Okay. And probably the most exciting thing we've had from a narrowband DMR perspective in the last two months has been the release of our new repeater, the HR655 repeater, which is both an indoor repeater, a 25 watt indoor repeater, and the option of being a 10 watt outdoor repeater. So it's the best of both worlds. In terms of mobiles, we've got another addition to our mobile range, the HM6 series, which is a, again, an option of a mobile with no display and a keypad microphone with a display or a mobile that has a full display and a limited keypad. So depending on what the customer requires, they can choose. I cannot remember any other uh, partner that, that is producing so many new devices in such a short range of time. That's not only from the, from the last few years. Hytera is doing that consequently, right? What is the reason behind that? Because are you not afraid that customers get confused? It is a point that customers could become confused. I think from a high terrorist perspective, we are always continuously wanting to innovate and listen to our customers. So when people tell us, our customers tell us, we need a feature, we need uh, a technology, or we need to do something special, we're always listening and thinking about how we can provide that for customers. So that means that our uh, life cycle or our change of our, our uh, new products are happening more regularly, perhaps, than others. But um, we also try to have some uh, space between our releases. So, for example, this year we've had some uh, releases in stages so that we can try and focus on one particular release and try and introduce that to our customers. So they they get they understand what what's the benefits to them and then we have some time and then we release something else the other thing I would say too is that at the moment there we are we are releasing quite rapidly because we have seen some requirements in the market that we needed to address so that probably won't happen all the time at the moment they, there were some burning requirements that people wanted, so we wanted to satisfy those requirements. But it's kind of risky to release new products regularly, especially when you have component shortage all over the all over the place, right? Over the last two years, that could be due to COVID, and I'm not sure if that's already solved right now. So, are you not? facing a challenge that you cannot deliver the products in time? 
It is true that there have been component shortages, but one of the things that uh, that Hytera has done is actually managed to, because we have been releasing new products, we've been able to avoid some of these shortages. So we've sourced different parts, different chips. So therefore, we've been able. Some of our deliveries have not been affected by these uh, shortages without compromising the quality of the components. Exactly. Yes. So. One of the problems with the chip shortages is, was there were limited producers of these chips, and that has increased. They have learned that they must not have only a small number of chip suppliers. And as that has happened, Hytera have taken advantage of that and have actually been at the right time designing our products to actually uh, to have access to these new chips. So we haven't been experiencing some of the delays that maybe other manufacturers have. We've actually been able to supply a lot of our products. And you're close to the source, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Networks. We have spoken to each other, I think it was a year ago, maybe a little it bit longer. It was, yes. Exactly. We were talking about the 8 series products. Um, you know, all of these DMR solutions, fantastic, great, they have been launched with a lot of success, I heard. Now we have a new POC device for in vehicle solutions, and we have another one over there. Um, and I can see something with antennas over here, so tell me all about that. Right, so this is, as you say, our new in-vehicle POC solution, the NMC360. Um, two antennas for diversity, so for better reception when you're on the move. Uh, the device will support dual SIM card, so two, potentially two different networks. Uh, Bluetooth enabled, supports GPS, very small form factor, so idea for, ideal for vehicles such as taxis, uh, delivery vehicles, school buses, that kind of thing. One of the nice features with that device is it has a facility in it where if you've been driving for a length of time, it can actually alert you to, this, to the fact that, hey, you've been driving for four hours, you need to take a break. Then the question is if that driver really takes a break, but okay, that's the other thing. Well, if they don't, we can't say they weren't warned. Yeah, well, if, if they don't, uh, the device keeps on working, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, oh, so yes. that's important. Okay, Martin, now these things, they need to stay on when they're in the car. So you have yep. these flippers in it, but you can move them integrate yep. them into your cabin right you Very can easy. do normally for an in-vehicle solution you would have antenna outside the vehicle exactly. that, yeah because that way you're guaranteeing the best possible signal from your from your network but with POC it yeah. doesn't matter you can also say in the vehicle yes Okay, now I saw your colleague taking away one of the other devices because that is another device that you just have launched. What yes. is that kind so of So that's the HP685. So that's a slightly lower tier version of the HM785 that we launched last year. Um, that's DMR, again designed as an in-vehicle uh, radio. 25 watts, VHF, UHF models available, also supports GPS. So again, if you've got a vehicle where you haven't maybe got as much, quite as much space, yes. an ideal solution. Okay, let me scoop it very quickly because it, I use... We took it away, we took it away, but <laughs> that was not the intention, right? We Typical. wanted to talk about it. Well, okay, I got this one on a few close-ups, take a look. 